Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Look it, we can see her eyes. Did you know she had eyes? I didn't. Well, now you know. Anyways, today we have Jing Liu on our account now. And take the take the damn eye mask off. There we go. If you guys didn't watch my last video, we were able to get her and about 60 pulls on her limited banner with like no stellar jades left. And today, now that we have her, we intend to build her to our maximum. Getting stuff such as her best in slot light cone, some really nice traces hopefully, and some crazy good relics. All that and more coming up in the video. But before we start today's video, if you haven't already, please do make sure to subscribe. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed and it honestly helps a lot when you do subscribe because it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content. But with all that being said, let's get in to building Jing Liu. And get, get rid of the eye mask. Oh, I'm out of skill points. Okay, well, Jing Liu is going to need a lot of work to complete her. But before we actually get into building her, I think it's important that we understand the fundamentals of her kit. So before we do anything, I'm just going to do a little showcase on her to go over some gameplay tips. Hopefully this will give us a better understanding of her kit and so that we know how to properly build her. If you guys would like to skip past this part of her kit review, I will leave a timestamp in the video now so you can skip past the kit review and go on to the actual build section of the video and how I build my Jing Liu. But for all those interested and still here with us, let's talk about Jing Liu's kit. Let's use her talent and freeze the enemy and go in. First off, what that technique did for us. Upon entry, we're immediately going to freeze the opposing enemy and regenerate a little bit of energy and obtain one stack of Sizyuji. Uh, I'm looking forward to say that word all video. Anyways, let's talk about Jing Liu's kit. Jing Liu's kit all centers around her talent ability. Her talent is the most crucial part of her entire kit and is going to be the thing you're using more than anything. So let's talk a little bit about this talent. When possessing two stacks of... God damn it, Google, Google, Google Translate. Syzygy. 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 When possessing two stacks of Syzygy, Jing Liu enters the Spectral Transmigration state, which advances her action forward by a hundred percent. There is three different ways you're able to obtain these stacks. As you can see, I already have one right now in the bottom left-hand corner. The other ways of obtaining this are using her skill, her ultimate, and her technique are the three different ways to use this. Her normal attack does not really benefit her because it's not going to give us one of these stacks of Syzygy. Syzygy. Anyways, let's get our second stack here and see what this state does for us. So all we have to do is use our E ability, single target the enemy, and now we're in spectral state. Here we go. In this state, we're going to increase our crit rate, our skill is going to become enhanced, and upon using our attack, we're going to consume HP from all other allies and increase our own attack. As we can see here, we got a crit rate boost of 47%, an increased ultimate damage bonus of 20%, which I believe is one of her passive talents. And then when we use our skill here, you're going to see that we're going to take HP from both our allies. And there it goes. Another little thing to note is when we use that skill, it did remove one stack of Syzygy. Syzygy. And so now we only have one stack. If we want to recover that stack, all we have to do, use her burst, and we're going to get immediately another stack of Syzygy. Boom. And as you can see now, we're back up to two stacks. And when we get our turn back, we're going to be in our state again. And now I want you to look closely at the bottom right-hand corner this time at our skill points. Now, if you were paying attention there, you'll notice that we actually didn't lose any skill points. That is because when she is in this talent mode, she doesn't consume any skill points with her skill, which is the last thing I wanted to note about Jing Liu's kit. There are a couple other bonus abilities here that help advance forward her action, increase her ultimate damage, and increase her elemental resistance, which are all nice little buffs as well but nothing that's going to drastically change our kit. Overall, great character, great kit, pretty simple to understand, nothing really too complex. It's just about stacking up as many Syzygy stacks as possible onto her. 
All right, and we're done with our kit review for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment, but now it's time to actually build our Jing Liu, the most important part of the video, because we want to max her out. And in fact, I did pre-prepare all the materials that I should need to completely max her out. You'll see we got the Gelichin tins here. I'm so sick of saying names today. We got destruction materials. I even pre-grinded some artifacts, which we'll touch a little more on later. And we even have a light cone, which I pre-grinded for her as well. But before all that, let's level her up all the way to level 80. Here we go. Level 70 and level 80. There we go. Let's take her all the way up there. 138 EXP books. I am now broke. That's okay because we got a maxed out Jing Liu. Let's claim all our Star Rail passes. We got one, two, three. And if you guys don't know, after you claim the Jing Liu Star Rail passes, you are guaranteed to get a five star every single time on the Stellar Warp banner. There is always a guaranteed when you use those three star rail passes that there is a five star. Usually doesn't come on the first. Typically it will come on your second or third. Garen, okay, not that time, but always on the third time on the third star rail pass, it is a five star. Damn it, man. Oh shoot, I'm actually getting close to that free five star though. Hey, I gotta pick that up pretty soon. I'm not gonna lie, 70 away. We're pretty close. Anyways, we now have a level 80 Jing Liu. She is looking fine and swell in more ways than one. Next thing's next. We're going to want to pick out a light cone for her. And in order to pick out a light cone, let's look a little more into the light cone or- Hello? Shu Shang? What are you doing here? Uh... Do you usually just hang around? I didn't know characters just hung around in the overworld. Oh, it's about Aramali. I'm good. Anyways, let's look at what light cones could possibly be good for our Jing Liu. Of course, the best whale options aren't available to us, like the I shall be on my own sword light cone, which increases crit damage and a bunch of other things. It's OP. If you want a good light cone, get that one. The unreliable side, another really good one. Maybe not as good though, because it increases crit rate. And let's be honest, you don't need crit rate on Jing Liu because she gets a crap ton from her abilities. Some more free to play friendly options though, and ones that I will probably use would be a secret vow which I don't actually have, but this is a really good light cone if you are free to play. Under the Blue Sky, which we just got in our wishing video, is another really good option. Then again, though, I don't think I'm going to need crit rate as much on my Jing Liu personally, but who knows? There's also the Moles Welcome You, which is another great option, just increasing our basic attack skill and ultimate. But the light cone I'm personally going to go with uh, for my Jing Liu is going to be on the Fall of an Ion. This is a really good light cone and can actually compete with some of the other five star light cones at higher ascension level. Unfortunately, I only have super in position one. With that all being said, let's unequip my Ambiberlune, who I don't end up using that often because his relics are an absolute mess. So let's unequip this from him and let's put it on our Jing Liu. It's already level 70 and I believe I can take it all the way to level 80. Let's take it there. Level 80 destruction light cone. Here I come. And now that we have our level 80 on the fall of the ion light cone, I believe there is actually maybe one or two super impositions I can get for it. I don't know how much herd of bond fragments I actually have, but potentially if I just have two or more, I can at least get one super imposition for it. So let's see how many I have. Seven. Perfect. That's going to be three super impositions for our light cone. That's great. That's going to give a huge damage increase to our Jing Liu. Oh, and I had an extra one in my inventory. Perfect. Let's give all four of these to my Jing Liu and take this thing all the way to super imposition five. Let's go. Increase our attack to 16% and our damage increase to 24%. Let's go. That's a huge damage increase. We now have a super in position five destruction light cone, five stars on our Jing Liu. She is looking mighty powerful already and we've barely touched her. Next thing's neck, traces. We're gonna be leveling up all her traces with the exception of the normal attack because you're not, you're not using this ever. There's no reason to use this. Anyways, let's level up everything else. I'll be back once I'm done leveling up like 20 million traces. Give me a minute. Thank you. 
Nine, nine, nine. Oh my goodness, I could maybe do 10, 10, 10. I didn't know I could 10, 10, 10 her. Give me a second. 10. Oh. Okay, that might have been a little presumptuous. But maybe I can buy a couple more World Breaker Blades in the shop? I really want a 10, 10, 10 -er. I didn't know I had enough. I know I pre-farmed a lot, but dang, that double event really helped out, I guess. Let's see here. Can I get one more level 10? I can. Do I do the skill or the talent? I think we'll do the skill. There we go. We got double crown, or I guess not crown in this game. Jing Liu with the potential to do one more, but that's going to take a tiny bit more grinding in order to get that. Also, something else that I noticed when I was leveling up the Jing Liu talents is that she has some of the best talent upgrades in the entire game. She increases HP, crit damage, and then speed. She has three different speed increases, increasing it by three, four, and two. That's really nice. Her speed starts out at 105. That is an amazing speed to start out at. But we want to get that to 134, baby. And the only way to do that is with relics. Now, let's talk about relics because I've been struggling with them. I've tried to get her some good relics with um not much luck to be honest i have been grinding the the snow snowy set as you will see here uh i really haven't got anything good but i've been trying my damnedest and it just hasn't happened so let's talk about jing Liu's artifacts sorry relics damn it relics so for her four piece cavern relics you have two options the first option is of course her best in slot the ice set it's the ice set for the ice character. whoop de doo what a big shock. It increases ice damage and increases her crit damage by 25%. That is just an all around solid set. The other weirdly good set for her is the quantum damage set because it ignores 10% of defense. And if the enemy has a quantum weakness, it's going to ignore it. an additional 10 defense. That's just an all around good set effect. And of course, she's not going to benefit much from the increase in quantum damage, but the four piece can be worth it. Again, if you're not able to get like two four pieces, I think I'd personally recommend going for like two piece attack percent. You can even go for a two piece HP percent, possibly two piece break effect. If you're really struggling, definitely a lot of good options that you could go instead of going a four piece. As for the planner ornaments, I've personally been grinding Rulian Tarina as she's always going to have a ton of crit rate because of her passive abilities. So this set basically guarantees that you will have 70% crit rate most of the time and that anytime you're using her skill and her talent, you're going to basically get this set effect no matter what. Some other good options though are sets like the space ceiling station, increasing attack and then more attack. You can also increase your crit damage with the celestial set. Another decent option, lots of good two pieces for her. But the best in slot is most definitely Ruliant Arena, which is the set I've been grinding for her. Now, Ruliant Arena, I've had a little more luck with than the four piece. So let's worry about our rope and our sphere first. Of course, we're going to want ice damage boost for her sphere. So let's look at what we have. So I have, of course, a crit rate, crit damage one and a absolute dog trash set for her. But I was able to get one and two ice damage boosts once in the Ruliant Arena set, which could possibly be good for her. Let's level them up and see what they're about. But you know what? I have a gut feeling it's going to roll straight crit damage, so we'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Um, I have a gut feeling that it'll roll crit damage on the third roll. Okay. Fourth roll. Okay. Uh, this is not going to be my day for relics, is it? This is not going to be a relic sort of day. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next for her rope, we're going to want attack percent, which I have a ton of ropes. And I think a couple of them actually have some attack percent and some crit damage. So I'm going to try out a couple of these and see if any of them are going to be any good. Okay. This time, could we maybe get four crit damage in a row? One. That's something. Oh, I don't even have the guts to upgrade it any further. Just, just go on, Jing Liu. Oh, it's so bad, man. It's so bad. Whatever. Jing Liu doesn't need good pieces because she's already OP without good pieces on her. Next, we need speed boots because I want her to get up to 134 speed. I would like them in the ice set, but unfortunately, over my time grinding, I didn't get a single speed boot in the entire set. I do have one in other sets, however, like the HP set. Okay, these four are all dog trash. I guess I'm just gonna take from another character then. Uh, sorry, Serval, you're gonna lose your boots. They're now going to Jing Liu. 
because they're really good. Okay, next, we need a crit rate. I mean, a crit damage body. We don't need a crit rate body. We need a crit damage body, which I have one, two, three of. I guess we can take one from... Sorry, Blade, you're losing your body. My bad. Okay, we got a chest piece from Blade. Do we get any good hats? Maybe. It has speed. This one has crit damage. Another one with crit damage. Okay. Maybe it rolls crit rate too. Or break effect. Okay, let's try the one with speed and crit rate. Let's give it a shot. Three stats. Is that good? She doesn't need that much attack percent, does she? Attack percent and speed. I think I have to keep it. Last but not least, you need a good glove, and unfortunately, I don't have a single one in the ice set for you. Uh, so instead, you're going to be taking from other characters. You're going to take from Serval again because she has all my good pieces. There you go. And now you are completely dysfunctional without a full set because I have the worst relic luck in the entire world. But you'll do what you need to do. You have 35 crit rate, that's all you need, because we're gonna get another 48% crit rate from your skill, so honestly, 35 is more than enough. We have you on 3.7k HP, 2.5k attack, and 140 speed. Honestly, those stats are not as bad as I thought they were. I thought they'd be a lot worse. We have you on good crit rate, good crit damage. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the best set effects in the world, but overall, you're looking pretty decent. I think we've built you as best as we possibly could, unless we were able to like get the E1 like right now in a single pull because we're super lucky and we never lose on our one out of like three million chances. Damn it. All right, and there is our Jing Liu. Now that we have completely built her and maxed her out, why don't we take her for a little bit of a spin? Here we go, hello there messenger. Let's enter the Forgotten Hall. Instead of a Memory of Chaos stage, I think I'm actually going to do a uh, Xeon LeFou stage because these are actually kind of fun and I still haven't beat these yet. So let's try the Xeon LeFou stage, stage 5. We're going to use Jing Liu. And then for support, we're going to use Yukong. I really like Yukong here. I think she's going to be a very beneficial unit for us. Next character I'm going to use is Silverwolf for a couple debuffs. And then Fushuan for some defending. Let's see if we're going to be able to do it or not. Here we go. In my eyes, this looks like a pretty solid team. This is a really, really strong team. So hopefully this should be able to do it. We're going to freeze the enemy, go into Silverwolf, and bang him up. Let's go. Come on now. This is it. We're, of course, going to support with Yukong immediately. And then Jing Liu is unfortunately the fourth unit to go. She's that slow. Okay, whatever. I guess my other units are just really fast. Let's see here. Let's use her skill and immediately get that point of Siyuji. There we go. There it is. Come on now. Let's use her blast attack. Do huge damage. Oh my goodness, that's so powerful. It's so, so powerful. It's not even fair. Let's do it again. Come on now. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's so sick, bro. I love that so much. Now it's time for the tough enemy. He's already frozen. Of course he is. Boom. Into the Yukong burst. And then in. Let's see how much we can do with her own burst. Let's see how much we can do with Jing Liu burst. Come on now. Boom. Seven. Oh, it didn't crit. Okay, when it doesn't crit, it's just sad. It's okay. We'll crit with this move. Let's go. Boom. And then after our crit rate boost with our skill, we get an extra 48% crit rate from that buff. We get we are at a ratio of 95 to 208. That is absolutely insane. That is such a good crit ratio. Let's kill this enemy again. Boom. Oh my goodness. She is too good. She is too, too good. Boom. Let's do it again. Come on now. Oh my gosh, bro. She nearly one-hit the enemy. And that's without any buffs from Yukong either. She is too powerful. Oh my gosh, it's over. Hey, this ain't fair, man. Jing Liu is not a fair unit to the rest of humanity. I honestly feel bad for them. But with all that being said, that's going to be the end of our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one because I know I did. Jing Liu is an absolute beast. Honestly, might compete with Embaver Lune. I don't know. I like the fact that she doesn't use too many skill points. And then she's also super strong as well. And she freezes enemies. An absolute terror of a unit. But with that all being said, that is going to be the end of our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.